Five, the Broken Arrow community is rallying around a mother who lost her husband and two children in that house fire on Monday morning. Two Works for You's Ashley Wheeler joins us live with the support that that family is receiving. This is understandably a very difficult time for family and for friends. Friends say prayers are what's needed most to get through this difficult time. I think it is the most devastating thing that can happen. A floor furnace is the suspected cause of a house fire in Broken Arrow Monday morning, taking the life of 29 year old Shannon Wagers and his two daughters, Kaylin Wagers three and one year old Eris Wagers. The mother was not home at the time of the accident. The family has received an outpouring of support through their GoFundMe account. Family, friends and strangers offering monetary donations and prayers. There's funeral costs, there's, there's furniture, there's clothes, there's relocating. In addition to the GoFundMe account, Chaplain Scott Keel with the Broken Arrow Police Chaplain's Corps is also accepting donations for the family. It began because uh, people from Broken Arrow uh, started calling the PD uh, and asking how can we help. Keel says it's heartbreaking for everyone to hear about the loss of a loved one and even more difficult when it involves kids. I don't know of anything more devastating and all the different you know calls that we get here or go out on. Um, if it involves children, if it involves even one child, it's super significant, uh, really, really troubling. Keel says there are levels of grief a person goes through when an unexpected tragedy happens. They don't go in steps. They're just kind of they all float around and you may be in one and an hour later in a, in a different one, you know, denial, anger. But Kiel says support and knowing you're not alone can make a big difference. Friends tell us the funeral services for Shannon and the two girls is going to be tomorrow in Choctaw. Reporting live in Broken Arrow, Ashley Wheeler, Two Works For You.